Greetings, people. Numbaro here. Today we're going to be playing some of the Star Survivors demo. Now, this game had a massive, like, rework since the last time I had played it. And let's just say I like I love a lot of these changes this game has done. So I still have problems with the deck building systems. I'll go into that after the first run. They changed the movement so I can now just freely rotate and move differently. So that makes controlling a lot better. And the rotation has gained additional value, which should be soon, hopefully soon. Yep, right here. All right, I do kind of do want to take these turret stuff because I do like doing a turret build, but no, I'm gonna grab this incinerator just to show this is a really cool system. So burp. Now I get a place where I want to put this flamethrower. So let's say I want a little butt flamethrower. So now whenever my flamethrower goes off, it fires out of my, 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 my ship butt. This is really, really, like this right there is a really cool system. Reminds me a little bit of kind of, like e e each ship's gonna be different. So it kind of reminds me a little bit to like the ideas that they had for, uh, let's grab this alternating cannon and put it up at the front. To, uh, what's that game called? Project Lazarus, but kind of completely different at the same time. And then we got these asteroids. So these yellow things are the meta currency, which we need for a lot of stuff. All right, let's get this laser beam. And we're gonna put it up at the front. So we can do this big, big laser sometimes. So yeah, I'll sh we'll have to go over the meta currency once we actually fail a run really show what it is it is also kind of my biggest gripe with the game comes from this aspect that it's used for but i'm sure it can like it just needs a little bit of work let's be honest it's not it's nothing huge i don't really love any of this so we will take some experience A very different build than I normally run. I like to try to just focus more on the turrets, but you know what? You gotta sometimes try different things. You also have a speed boost you can do. Woo! So, you know, get away from all these evil, I don't know, spaceships of doom. I'm the good spaceship of no doom. That's the lore, in case you're wondering. Totally didn't make it up right now. Okay, yep, yeah, so you have to. <laughs> I forgot how that worked. <laughs> so you can only uh, zoom in the direction you're facing. There's again another point to the whole rotating. So if you can destroy it, a, a um, asteroid completely, like they do have some ah consumables in them sometimes. That was horrible. I'm dead. I'm yes, you are dead. So upon completion, you gain a card. So I gained a card that will allow me to buff the napalm shot I had, or the, like, the flamethrower with napalm, so increases burn, which is kind of cool. So, we got the deck builder here. So let's go to my new deck. I haven't put anything in it yet. Well, let's say we want to go for a, like, hardcore turret focus build. So I got some turrets, and I got some extra upgrades here for the turrets, the burn chance, extra damage, so let's grab a turret. Uh, let's add maximum I can to the deck. So this does cost the meta currency. So now if I want to add, let's add the incendiary rounds. We'll add the maximum of them I can, which is, I guess, one. Because I probably, do I not have enough, maybe? And then the heavy bullets, we'll add. I had enough for that, weird. Did I hit the wrong button? I just think I can, yeah, no, I must hit the wrong button. All right, so let's see what other things we might want. For turret focus. So we can grab a sniper. Cost me another 75 to do this. Add another card. Pick up radius. Actually, pick up radius is a nice thing. We might want to grab that. Yeah, we're going to grab that, actually. I guess I just put one in. That's fine. And beam turrets, god beams. I don't know. So these are all... Like, we have weapons, and then we have upgrades to the weapons in the cards. So, mm, another turret. You know what? Let's just add the maximum of turret range, and we're out of money. 
So, now I have this deck equipped, which has, I think, 16 cards. So when I load up the game again, we're going to play this. We're going to keep playing the Survivor. This guy's all about uh, more summoning ships and stuff, and obviously can't play the, re play the rest of them because they're not in the game. So each ship does have its own difference placement of like equipment so because like this one only has the one slot for back but i think the other one could put two items in the back and that kind of stuff so that's going to be a major way of making each character different which is kind of fun all right let's uh grab some burn chance i guess on on this not that i really need burn right now but Put burn on all my auto turrets. Which hopefully I can be getting a couple more soon. There's an auto sniper. We'll take that. So these auto weapons don't matter where I'm putting them. They just kind of go wherever the heck they want. Because they're still firing in the direction that they... Well, that they're going to. They just auto target things. I'm going to grab the pickup radius. Just because that's a... That's a nice little convenient thing. As you can see, the pickup radius is visible on your ship. So that's a fun little feature. Just to always know where you have to go to grab stuff. Especially because when you have to be really tight in where you're going. Let's grab another auto sniper. I don't really need the extra damage currently for my thing. So yeah, it would, each card can only be played once. right? So after it's played, it's removed from your deck. So, um, are my snipers just killing things before they even spawn in? Like, what's going on here? All right, let's grab some of this, because we need these for building decks. So that's the problem. I, I don't know. I kind of wish that you could build a deck easier. Primarily, I think the, ba the best fix would just be all of the base cards being free to place. Because it just kind of sucks that you, it, you have to play quite a few games before you can actually... Wow. Alright, so we got we, we rolled all of the snipers already. So you have to play quite a few games before you can start gaining the ability to actually add cards. Even the basic ones that are in the starting deck. I don't know. I think it would probably be over. Alright, let's actually grab extra damage on my auto turrets. Because we got enemies that can possibly survive an auto turret shot. Wow. All right, so this is going really well now, now that I have the ability to essentially create a build and focus on it. It gives you a lot more power, as you can see. We want these. And I do like, though, this ability when you skip. Uh, I think if you go, oh, I don't want any of these, which I'm not going to do because I want all of these. But you can always hit skip and then get a bunch of the... Like credits, meta currency, I don't know what they're called. Gold, base monies. I think they're called credits. Probably just credits. Seems to be the base thing to use for sci fi games. Small intergalactic credits. Alright, so enemies are now starting to come at me in a quite a. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. I also love this. How you can actually see how many pickups you need to pick to get the next level. I think that's that's such a nice UI idea. Uh, let's just go damage, I think. Now we should probably be able to one-shot... Yeah, we can one-shot the big guys with the auto turrets now. Problem is, these guys are a problem. So we need to... Once adding more cards to this deck, get some more crowd control kind of cards. So I got some auto firing missiles, which would actually probably work for this setup. So this will be like kind of my auto deck. I feel like an auto deck is the best one to make early because it's very simple. All right, come on. Attack one of these guys up here. No? Okay, there we go. Woo! Uh, we're just gonna grab attack range, I think, for now. Yeah, I didn't really need to add all those burn cards in. I don't know why I felt the need to put them all in. We only need the one. Oh, well. 
can, you know, tweak the decks. I, I don't know. I just kind of wish I could tweak the decks a little bit more freely. But I can understand why it's done this way. It, you know, it's to, it, it's to keep a gameplay loop. So, yeah, maybe I want more of the... Ooh, more auto turrets. I will definitely grab another one of these. Grab that, move that out of the way, though. So there's like a shotgun turret I do even have available, because, ow. So, I really should have put that in the deck. This should help with the little guys, at least. Come on, shoot the guys near me. No? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, there we go. Grab some more turret range. You can see the base turret range around my character too. Like the, the game has actually quite a good UI system of showing you all the information you need. And uh, let's get the heck out of here. I wanted all that experience, but uh, it's not worth dying for. We zooming. We're not zooming well. <laughs> I don't like the fact that they have these meteors just kind of placed. I, that's It just makes it look, the screen look like there's more threats than there are. And there's a lot of threats. Like I'm at one health. Only way I can heal would be to destroy a meteorite and hope for a health inside it. But the way my build works, destroying meteorites is actually quite difficult. Because like it, the, the auto turrets will not target them. Which is kind of a weird system because, you know, they are a pretty valuable resource to destroy. Oh my, I am... Oh, that's a free level over there. I don't think I'm reaching it though. No, I'm dead. Damn. All right, so we can see what was kind of wrong with the deck. Got a couple new items. More upgrades for some of our other weapons that we could probably build a deck for. So I only got 33. Uh, all right, so let's actually remove the card. We do get our money back. We can upgrade cards. So then we get that second effect too. So like now these ones we can upgrade. Uh, so we don't need a burn chance and extra burn chance. Now, I don't... Honestly, I don't even think I want any of these. We're going to get rid of all the incendiary. And we are going to... Where is the... Vision bullets. Extra damage on the sniper is not needed. Good. Cruise missile might be something we might want here. Black turret's what I'm looking for. So we're going to add the maximum amount of those. And we are going to... Where is the... I could just grab this. I don't really actually need to max out this. Ah, we will. Alright, so now we got some more stuff. Let's see how this looks out. All right, enemy, where are you? So you are kind of being able to control what you want in your build, which is kind of a fun little system, but you're again, you have to deal with the randomization of it. So yeah, you could essentially just pick four cards if you wanted to and go, this is my whole build right now. You can do that. But, you know, there's the whole fact that eventually you're gonna hit the point in which you have uh, maxed out your entire You've run through your whole deck, but you'd be able to have a more, like, we want this. We really want this. This thing's got, oh, no, this isn't a shotgun. This is more of an AOE, yeah, it's an AOE shot. Love to see some upgrades for it. I'm assuming we got ones that'll increase, like, area of effect and all that kind of stuff. Oh, the sniper likes to, oh, the sniper's trying to shoot the dude behind it. That's what's going on. Oh, well, allowed me to free up some credits to pick up. The sniper's got ridiculously good range. It's a good, it's a good one. So we 
grab. Other than the fact, you know, it's leaving money everywhere, but... Grab a... No, let's grab another flak turret. They are a little slower in firing, but... I'm sure we'll be happy to have them eventually. Yeah, maybe I do need the extra damage on the sniper. But again, you gotta just keep going and... Keep finding what you gotta do, and... We're going to grab another sniper. We need as many turrets as humanly possible on this ship. Yeah, the flat cannon does have base uh, burn chance on it. It's nice. So the game does have two status effects. I think it's just the two. Like burn and shock. And if you can apply both onto the same enemy, they explode. Which is kind of... That's kind of a fun little fact. I love when games give you combinable elements. All right, auto turret, auto. Now nah, we'll grab another auto turret. Could have grabbed another auto sniper, and then we would have had all of them. But I think we need more auto turrets right now. Just to give us a bunch of expl. Okay, we're gonna probably be getting to the point where we start needing to build up damage. Oh, there's a, there's a heal. Oh, I walked it. Yes, I uh, purposely flew into that meteorite just so I could show you how heals work. Maybe. Alright. Come on. There, see? I have healed up. That is how... That is how heals work. Oh, damn. Alright, uh, more flak turrets. Oh, that's a free level up there. Let's grab this. Yeah, I actually want the heavy bullets. I don't know what that is. No, it was a heal. I had to break it open by hitting it. But I have no way of targeting things with my build. Which is my design. This is my no control, let the game tell me what dies build. It seems effective once you get it going. And there's another heal over there. Yeah. Alright. See, this is pretty... Pretty solid. Uh, or have I not actually grabbed a single one of those? So we're pretty much hitting the end of this build, though, which is kind of problematic. Because I think all we have now is range. Is that it? Or am I still missing another turret? Ooh. 
Ooh, man. That was a lot of experience. I love it. I can't believe I got through that. Ah, I wasn't fully safe. That's fine. Still doing all right. Maybe. Oh, let's go. Ah, uh, I'm dead. All right, let's see what we get. Chance to pierce on the snipers, godly. Cause I just kind of want to focus on this deck we're making right now. So what did I have? I had two more spots available. I could grab these cruise missiles, but I think I'm going to grab the beam turret, which I don't actually have. Oh, this thing takes... Oh, that thing is expensive to add. All right. All right, we're going to do one more, and that'll be it, because I'm actually having a little bit of fun here. See, this game... Like, that update for the game changing away the way... Uh, well, the movement was a big thing. This game had a pretty awkward movement system where you were honestly fighting the movement more than you were the enemies. So that was a nice change. And then... All right, I gotta get to the mouse here. And then the fact that they added in that whole... That system adds so much stuff. It, it's a lot more important when you're not using an auto turret build. All right, so this is our new one. We can only apply apply one of these, which is a little bit too bad, but as you'll see, this thing is, yeah, this thing actually gives you a bit of AOE. Also, it does electric damage. So I could actually use this with the black turret to actually get some damage, or like the explosions going. Which is fun. I do kind of wish these turrets would attack uh, the uh, asteroids. Grab the pickup raid. Like three of those would be really fun. But alas, we cannot get those yet. But like the big bonus for actually maxing out your build is every level would after would be uh money. So that's that that's cool. Because you need the money to build more decks. Yeah, I don't know. I just kinda wish the deck building was a little faster so I could experiment with stuff, but I understand why it's the way it is. It really is just to make you want to keep playing and it does work in that regard. You know, this is very much a, I want things now, even if I can get them later. And it's not like it's that crazy to get enough, because, like, you, you skip one level, you have enough to put a card in. Which, again... Uh, we're going to grab Black Turret, I think. I think I have... Do I have maximum regular turrets? Or... No, I think I can hold one more. Let's grab the flak turret. We're just gonna focus one, two. Yeah, no, I, I, I can fit one more. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Pick up radius. I think that's all of those, so those should be out of the deck now. Can't roll pick up radius again. Just fine. We got we got a pretty good pick up radius right now. wonder if they'll ever add in cards that are made to buff passives. That would be kind of fun. All right, we're going to grab some snipers now. We don't have any of them yet. I do need to get the sniper damage. That is obvious. Sniper damage and pierce would be really good. Again, I don't want to bloat the deck, but... You kind of want all your cards you currently are using to be at maximum capacity, right? So, or, like, maximum power. 
So th th there's a little bit more strategy. Like the game does have quite a bit of strategy for deciding what you're going to be doing with your builds before you even start, which is which is kind of cool. That's a little ah oh, damn it! I ran into that dude. I don't have quite the power to deal with this horde yet. As I deal with the horde, proving myself wrong. We are going to take uh, another, like more weapons are kind of what we want anyways to start with. And then we'll grab the focus on the upgrades to them all after. That seems to be a pretty solid strategy. I'm not an expert at this game as you've seen me not be able to survive too much past five minutes. I don't think there's an end. As far as I know, there isn't an end. So if having a game that's just a survival is not something you care about, you keep that in mind, but this game is currently just a demo. Like it's a free demo on Steam, so I do think if any of this looks even remotely interesting, be like, give it a try. It's a It's a pretty fun game. have all that. Well, yes, you can. Oh, I could hit. There's my last auto turret. So I can still hold one more turret for this build to be complete. So we'll probably put another beam turret on. I don't think we want three beam turrets. I do kind of want to see what the upgrades are for the uh, flat cannon, and then maybe we'd only want two flat cannons. It's all dependent on what kind of upgrades we can get. As your upgrade cards are unlocked, you know, it's pretty random. It's like opening up booster packs, kind of, in a way. It's just, you know, that, that, that's always got some fun to it. Heavy bullets, let's go. We have a nice chunky damage now with the auto turrets, and we got four of them, essentially. If the ship does start with one equipped, which is why we're playing this ship for this build, because it wouldn't make sense to be playing one that uses a different gimmick. I'll probably play around some more off-screen and make another deck to really show off some other aspects later. As honestly, I am liking this game quite a bit, which is, I'm happy about that, because I didn't love it the first time I played it. Uh, I'm trying to think, when I made my like tier list of three survival roguelites, I think this game was like second to the bottom. Like, I, I didn't have that much fun with my first time going through the game. So, yeah, no, this is actually a game that I very much am looking forward to seeing more of now, which is awesome. Oh, that's a free level. Grab it. There you go. Would you like targeting computer or targeting computer? I'm going to think I'll take targeting computer. Good choice. It's always targeting computer at the end there. I don't even know if I need them all. I could maybe start skipping for money. I could maybe remove them from the deck or just like keep one. Cause like, they're not that necessary, all, all things considered. Like the fact that I keep not picking it, like, I think that's kind of showing like, maybe I don't really want to use it that much. So that's the best way to actually test your deck is by, you know, testing it. Oh. See, like, this beam turret's pretty good. So we, we could actually get three beam turrets in. No, we couldn't get three beam turrets. I don't know. Do I want, I don't, I'm still unsure if I want beam turret or black cannon as my other one. Oh. I do want to get that. That's a that's a magnet up the head. I don't think I can reach it though. I think I'm dead anyway. No, I got out of there somehow. Go oh, laser beam. Do your laser beam thing. Ah, oh, so close. I had a shot towards it. No. Yes, yeah. I had one card left in the deck. And none of these are upgrades for the weapons that I'm currently looking for. I'm kind of wondering, is there a... No, I don't see an option. I was hoping there was an option to actually look at the whole deck. 
but alas, there isn't. Or not deck, but all the cards. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys again next time. Bye for now.